to begin with, my name is uh, not Joe Newman. It's uh, Lord Pearsall. And the story I'm about to tell you will explain why I had to change my name over 40 years ago and go into hiding to save my life. I learned very early on uh, about electrical engineering from my father. I used to help him with uh, mathematical equations when I was a teenager. I'd say by the time I was 17, I had probably the equivalent uh, of a PhD in electrical engineering. And it was about that time that I went to work as a feather merchant uh, for the military in Tacoma, Washington. And that was good in the, in the sense that uh, it kept me out of the military because the Korean War was heating up and they were drafting and I didn't get drafted. It sort of projected me into my uh, scientific uh, career that I had up until this incident that I want to tell you about. My first assignment uh, involved uh, research in ways of improving the radar range, which today uh, you know is the microwave. And during this time, uh, some of my young associates and myself uh, began to tinker with this uh, device to receive alpha emissions or brain waves. And uh, it was a pretty crude machine about the size of a suitcase that had a range of about uh, 30 feet. And then on occasion we would uh, take this machine out and, and scan people uh, at random. And, uh, and through the speaker that we had built into this device, we were able to actually hear their alpha emission. And all of these sounds were the same. Until one day, we got this sound that came through that was so eerie and so strange and just like nothing we had ever heard before. So after we got a couple more, we theorized that we were dealing with telepathic people or psychic people. Word got out about this and, and well, there was a tremendous interest in this device and uh, before we knew it, uh, the five of us were transferred to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. The purpose was uh, to extend the range of the scanner and to build a prototype, a new prototype. We were about four months into the project and, and things were going pretty pretty good. And then one day, uh, I was entering the base as usual, coming to work, and uh, this air policeman, this sergeant, blocked me and uh, wouldn't let me on the base. And uh, of course I was upset and I called the base commander and he told me, the four of us would be transferred to another location, be relocated for other research. And I says, you know, I says, hey, there's five of us. What do you mean? And he says, well, the other fellow won't be with you on a new project. And it made me wonder just what in the heck was going on there. And then I decided I'd try to call the colonel. And he shed some light on this whole thing. He informed me that uh, our laboratory had been broken into, all the gear had been smashed, all the diagrams and paperwork had been taken, and the prototype had been taken. So I asked him uh, who would have done this and why, and he said, uh, just let me say that there are people living among us who don't belong. And he wouldn't say anything. So anyway, the, uh, this colonel, he personally oversaw uh, our relocation and uh, I think it was him and maybe two or three other people that knew about it besides myself and my associates. So the next thing you know, we found ourselves in this little town called Wicksboro, Texas. It was out in the middle of nowhere, about 100 miles west of Odessa. Uh, we were asked to reconstruct this uh, alpha receiver, both short range and long range. And uh, the colonel uh, had set us up in this nice little house and, and nearby was a, a fallout shelter that we converted into a workshop. It had a titanium door that we camouflaged very, very well. And the lab was so small that we sort of worked in shifts. And, uh, I 
had a. Uh, <clears throat> Are you okay, Lloyd? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I, I just, uh, you know, I met, I met a nice, uh, nice lady, Anna Birch, and uh, she was there when we got there, and I, I met her, and, and she was the love of my life. That's one reason that I never. Um, I was always afraid of attachments after that because of the guilt that I feel about what happened to, to Anna. What did happen? It was October the 4th, 1953, 7.30 in the morning. I had been working on modification for the prototype all through the night. I dozed off and only once uh, I, I, I felt this Something just going through my head, my body was like I was being electrocuted, and I thought my head was going to just burst open. My watch, look, my watch just became sizzling hot, and I took it and I just jerked the band off and threw it, threw it away. It lasted uh, probably no longer than 20 seconds, but uh, it seemed like the eternity. And anyway, when it was over, and I, would, and I could, you know, get up and. and felt like going up the little steps there. Well, I went in the house. I, I didn't suspect anything then, but I went in the house, uh, and then nobody was there. And I figured, well, that's kind of normal. My three associates uh, well, might be down at the little cafe having breakfast like they do so often in the morning. So I hurried down there. And, uh, and I noticed, though, that I, when, it, when, when I was uh, going through this little town, that uh, it was unusually quiet and deep. No birds, no dogs barking. I ran into this little cafe and it was empty. Three or four coffee cups on the counter were still steaming and there were a couple of plates of half-eaten breakfast. Well, I didn't know what had happened, but I, I just, I, I thought of Anna. I just took off out of that place and ran through the streets and ran over to her house. Ran upstairs and uh, her imprint still in the bed. Her, everybody, everybody, ever, ever. Everybody was gone. And uh, I immediately thought of my uh, father's research into high-frequency weaponry. And then I realized that uh, no weapon that I was aware of could have done this. Then I got out of there just as fast as I could. I took the back roads to Pecos, got to Lubbock, was thinking, well, the best place to go would be a large city like Los Angeles. So I bought a ticket to Los Angeles, decided I'd come there and lay low, which I did. Why would they do this to everyone in the town? I think it was out of fear of who we may have talked to. So my only sister was living in Arizona, so I tried to contact her and found out that she had died. Now here's a woman that's in her 20s very perfectly healthy and she had died of some mysterious illness now all right see all these people here see these are the people that had within three months i started checking to find out and so all of these people were associated in one way, shape, or form with oh, Wicksboro. Oh yes, yes, and this is just, uh, and, and this is just part of them. This is just a random selection of newspapers from different places where I knew that they might be. Right. I am convinced that everybody who was connected in any way with anybody who lived in Wicksboro were done away with. Just recently, Mike, that I've decided to try to get this story out. Yeah. I've gone to a couple of the uh, ne news networks and uh, with this story and uh, it's sort of a joke to them. So 
that's when I decided that uh, I felt like somebody like you could help me and maybe we can investigate it, maybe go to Texas or something and, and maybe go back there. Since then, the most important thing I've uh, created is a, this alpha receiver. It took me five years to finish it. And I did it because I want to know what's going on out there. I want to know the extent that we've been infiltrated. What do you think is going on? Well, they're out there and they've been out there and they're thousands of years more advanced than we are mentally. And I believe that what they want to do is to take this planet. They. An alien life form from a, another solar system. father was a, a colonel in the United States Air Force and he had this burning secret inside of him that he carried around for 30 years after my dad retired. He knew that he had to let go of it. He knew that he couldn't keep it inside of him, that it was just eating him alive. It was morally wrong. The fact that my father died at the time that he decided to go public with this secret just reaffirms my suspicion that, in fact, he was murdered. One of the last things he told me before he died was if I ever wondered if we were alone in this infinite universe, to wonder no more, because we're not. The truth of the matter is, is that society needs an element of fantasy. We want something to believe in. We want to believe in the Loch Ness Monster. We want to believe that aliens are living among us. We have looked into countless cases, and we have yet to find one, one, that is legitimate. In the early 90s, there was a live video feed from the shuttle that uh, anyone could tune in and see on cable TV. However, there were a few incidents that were caught live, and once the public began asking questions, NASA stopped the live feed broadcast from the shuttle. Once I began to examine the footage and realize that the objects in question were not space matter, they were not ice particles, they were technological devices, some, um, in my estimation, the size of a football field. Based on the footage that I had seen of an actual alien craft being fired upon by one of our aircraft, 
I knew the scope of what was happening. At first, the video does seem very credible. However, what you are seeing are actually ice particles which go into orbit with every space shuttle. It's just an optical illusion. I was told to give the explanation to the outside world that the objects in question were ice particles. However, anyone looking at this footage can see objects accelerating, changing direction. This is not something an ice particle can do in outer space. If I zero in on somebody, they'll either be one of us or they'll be an alien. You All see? right. See this lady here? Yeah. Okay. She's one of us. All right. This lady. Hi. Sure. Oh, see what oh, he is? Hear that, that sound? That. Let's get a closer. Hear no, that that's, sound? No, that's a different sound. Has anybody ever noticed you with this device? Oh, yeah. And I've had, given you, yeah. asked you any questions about I've what had, you're I've doing? had security people ask yes. me to leave. Really? Yep. What would you think? I, they think I'm a kook and they say, <clears> would, <throat> would you mind moving on? No, Lloyd, we would never think that of you. I have noticed that the percentage of aliens is increasing as I come out. It shows me uh, what a dangerous situation we're, we're in. He's another one, he's another one, see? Okay. Both of those men yeah. were aliens. Both, both, Let me get that marked. Yeah, both of those men were aliens, yeah. Everybody that you say no. is an alien, I'd like to try to get on tape. I'd, I'd rather you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Because right. you just may hit the wrong person. You see, you just may hit the wrong person that might say something to somebody else and somebody else and somebody else and the next thing you know all three of us are in serious serious trouble when apollo 11 went to the moon and an object was videotaped moving over the lunar surface questions were raised about the moon and how it played a part in this whole scenario we learned that this alien race has been using the moon as a as a base between their world and ours. This fact was verified when we examined photographs taken in the early 70s of the moon surface. And we did indeed find a series of photographs of detailing an object moving over a crater, then suddenly descending into the crater this series of photographs, in my mind, is the most frightening uh, example of what we are really facing. Here's the state line. Van Horn. See, here's where Mexico. Yep, I got you right Mexico. here. Yeah, this is so, great. That's that's said, where the little keep the little hand up there. Right, right around in there is what yeah, he said, right? Yeah, he said this is where it should be. Right in that area. This is no good. Why don't we just uh, why don't we just go down to the library, see if uh, they're obviously going right. to have better resources than us. We're looking for a town in Texas that goes by the name of Woodsboro, and we we haven't been able to find it at all. So we're trying to figure out a way that. Okay. Do you know when it was there? Well, it would have been in the fifties, probably early fifties. It wouldn't have been very big, from what he has told us. Would it have been called Winsboro? He claims Wicksboro. This was right there then. Oh, I see the shape of it. Yeah, he said over here. He said about right? in somewhere in this area. Maybe he's just going to the bathroom with that key. <laughs> going into the secret room. There's books in there. The secret. I'd say there's a good chance your your van is a bullshit artist. Wow. It's not in the USGS uh, topographical map database. There's no, there is no physical feature in Texas named that. Based on what we know from case studies, investigative research, and evidence findings, I would have to say we are alone. We are very alone. Okay, it is November 1st. A little bit after 5 a.m. We are currently headed east on 210 on our way to Texas. We will take a short detour for Lloyd so he can see the gravesite of his, his uh, see Lloyd's sister. Kathleen, beautiful Kathleen. Oh, 
Thank yeah, you, sir. All right. Let's see. We're on our first big day on the way. Just a little bit outside Flagstaff. How's the little woman? She's good. Let's see, tomorrow, middle of the day, we should be in Texas. Josh is uh, starting to lift his head up. Well, that's yeah, wonderful. That's exciting. That's, that's cool. very sweet. It's cool being a dad. He passed out again, this time with a cigarette in his hand. <laughs> we'll get it away from him. Give me the lighter, I'll hang on to it. Yeah. Keep it away from him. Here. All right, I say we don't let him drive. The guy at the uh, phone booth there, or the woman right Look, see, we got red. We got red on this, on that woman. We talked a lot about me. I'm just curious to know, uh, how, do, how do you guys uh, know, each, know each other? Uh, we grew up together, we went to high school together. We used to, uh, we used to, we used to try to make movies in Gary's backyard. His, his dad had a, what's that, eight? Yeah, a Super 8. Super 8. It's kind of a tourist love affair. <laughs> November 2nd, second day on the road, traveling south. We're about 30 miles from the Texas border. According to Lloyd, Wicksboro is about here in, in this area. We're taking a little potty break, calling the uh, wife and kid again. So you think the town's gonna be there? <laughs> it better be, after coming all this way. <laughs> well, he's not fooling me with the device, certainly. I mean, you know, the other day when we were down in the business district, you know, it was behaving like he said it would, but. Yeah, but come on, that could be, that could be anything. I mean, magnetic charges, it could be the heat given off by body temperature, who knows what, but yeah. this is ridiculous. There he is. Got to be kidding me. Oh, here we go. If you fellas want some wine, I got a little wine here. I don't know if you you're wine drinkers or not, but we don't have a corkscrew, but maybe oh. maybe we don't need it with those, huh? He says, I got some wine over there, and I went over there and I found it. And then it was all Red Mesa. And they were all dirty, dusty bottles and everything. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna let you have all of those for a dollar piece if you'll buy them all. What a bargain. And I says, I'll buy them all. What they're doing is they're inundating us with all this stuff, all this propaganda, because of the fact that if we get so saturated with it, it just becomes a big joke. And that's exactly the, what they want it to be to you. UFOs, oh, X-Files, I watch that every night, you know. But it's all bullshit, you see. Intelligent people don't believe this shit. They don't believe it. You see? So in other words, they're brainwashing the American public. Absolutely. They're okay. brainwashing the American public in a very subtle way, in a way that you wouldn't even think would be happening because they are trying to make the, the public not to believe in this stuff through making a big joke out of it. But that's why they throw all that stuff at you, but so that if something does seem the, the, the slightest bit logical, you know, they'll, they'll laugh it off, you know. They're, they're in government, they're in big business, they're um, uh, CEOs of the of, of big international corporation. They're speeding up the process of uh, trying to phase us out. All this um, deluge of, uh, of uh, new sicknesses and, and viruses, uh, like uh, HIV, male sterility has been on the increase. Did you know that over the, over the years? They're telepathic. 
telepathic too. Yep. They don't have to use their sense organs to uh, observe. They don't have to rely on sight. They don't have to rely on sight or any of their other sense organs. Else. So if you try to crash their line, here you're in there and, and, and you know, he doesn't have to have, he doesn't have to turn on his machine. He's got his machine up here. And he'll say, uh, don't let him through. Put, take him, take him out to the firing line, uh, the firing squad, or whatever you know. Because the thing is, is uh, I mean, they've they've got us by the yang yang. I mean, uh, it's 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 a it's a it's it's scary. It's a frightening situation. It really is. <laughs> We've been looking for the turnoff or the road for about an hour and a half, and well, when we left it. This is about all we see. Desert. Everywhere. It's gotta be so. There's no town out here. Well, I'm sorry guys, I'm a little confused now, honestly. Well, what are we gonna do? Don't give up on me. Because I know it's, it's, it's around, it's around here somewhere. Okay. Well, we haven't even seen a single sign. There's nothing out here. That's wait, it. That's wait. a silo. Hold on. I think we see that, something. That's it. There's, now there's going to be a road. I see, see that. I now, see something. You, see, you can see it really clear. Now, Wicksboro should be about four, four and a half miles past that silo. Oh, the silo. Now, here's a road. Here's a road. Yep. Right here? Yep. This is a road. This is it. I'm okay. sure this is it. Well. Wait a minute. No trespassing. You're sure this is the place? Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is I'm, this is the road because yeah, there's the silo and it's right on up here. All right, all right. Yeah. Lloyd, here there's barbed wire on this well, fence. I know, but it's here. Okay, all we see is a silo. There's nothing else there. There's no house. Well, the house. Uh, here's the stuff. Right here, right there is where the house was. Right here. Yeah, right there by that clump of trees. In fact, it was a pretty big house. It came out all, the porch would have been where those old tires are. You see those tires? Yeah. It was all a right. lovely place. It was beautiful. The trip meter says about five miles now. There should be something here. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. The road. Yeah, the it, road. I got, it, I, got it, I got it. I got it. We should have passed a road. There should be a road back there somewhere that we must have passed because, but what gets me is why can't I see any of the buildings or something? Oh. Well, there you go. That's, that's it there. Now that should take us right into town. Right this into path? Town. This is a road that should take us right down into town, but where in the hell is the town? What should be the town, the, the, the town square area? This, this is this, this is, is it right here. This is right here. We're right in. We're we're right downtown now. I don't know. This is the biggest mystery. Yet. Where was the tavern? They didn't have a tavern. What do you think about this guy? I think he's a crazy old drunk. I agree. Maybe we can find another town, have him walk around there, uh, interview some people. I, I'm not sure right now. I just it's, it's not going the way I planned it. I thought it'd be pretty cut and dry once we got here, but... Uh, I just want to go home and see my wife and kid. Let's just go home. Well, I think that the government had to... Uh, had to cover up the existence of the town, had to cover up all of those deaths, and so therefore, they came in and they bulldozed over it. They just flattened that sucker right out. That's what I believe. They wiped out the town. Hmm. Did, did, took the whole town. I keep thinking that uh, we, we might find a fallout shelter. The fallout shelter? The fallout, our, our workshop. Let's consider, you know, going back out there and, 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 and looking for it. Because, you know, we've come this far. Let's, let's just don't. Let's. 
Well, you're right. We have put a lot of effort into this. Mike, Lloyd thinks that we should go back out to the site. Why? Well, he thinks his workshop might still be there. Hang on, hang on a second. How would we find it? Here it is. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm making a dowsing rod. It's a century-old idea, of, actually centuries old, I'm sure, and I've used them before. I've used them before. It's, this is a method for, for like picking up energy where I grew up. They used to use them to find water before they dig a well. Mm -hmm. You hold it and it picks up the energy. Are you sure this is going to work? Well, no. <laughs> no, it's just, but it's worth a try. We're going to put this on here like this. Now you guys, you're going to have to remember that if this works and we're out there, we're going to need shovels, a couple shovels, a couple flashlights. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. You want to do it? Okay. Okay. It's uh, November 3rd, <clears throat> 2.30 a.m. and it's freaking cold out here. Just, just bear with me a little bit longer. We'll find it. Mike. Mike. I know. I know. Here we go. Fuck. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit! What was that? What I don't know, Mike. You flipped out. Did it bite you? Uh, no. You didn't get bit. I don't know. No. We've been out here probably about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. He's working the rod a little bit. I, I don't know. It's pretty cold. We'll give him a few more minutes. We'll get out of here. I'm freezing. I know you are too. What are you, are you shaking that? Come on. What? Yeah, let's take right here. This, I think this is it. All right, I gotta do something. I'm freezing my ass off. Let's go. Come on, the ground's getting hard and everything. I don't. It's just ridiculous. I ain't no, gonna no. sit out here all night long digging holes in the middle of nowhere, Lloyd. It's just ridiculous. <coughs> oh my God. Hand over. Hang on, I can't. Hey, all right, you got your hand in there? I got it. All right, here we go. It's gonna be heavy. All right, all right. Damn. There's a room down here. Come here, Gary. Come around here. Come here. Come all right, all right, all right. Can you hold it? Holy shit. Which one you want me to? There is no way in hell that I'm Gary, going down there. Gary, follow him down in there. With no the way am Gary. I going down there. Give me Mike, no. All right, all right, I'll go. I'll just take it. Me. Take it, fine. All right, give me the flashlight. I got it, I got it. All right. All right, I could, I got it. I could feel... All right, I'm not so kind of... All right, it's a ledger for something. I'm good. All right. All right, you okay? All right. I 
this is the watch I told you about. It's the one that burned my arm. Oh, my heart, this is freaking me out, boy. I can't fucking believe this. Guys, get up here, quick! I just saw a car fall up. Come on, Mike. I got the photo. No, no. Leave Come it on, here. Mike. Let's see what's going on. Come on. Go, go. Come on. All right, all right. All right. What did you Over see? there, I saw what did you see? I saw a car pull up, and it had where? its headlights Over on. It, it turned off its headlights as it got to where our car was. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. You sure you saw somebody? Come yes. Up? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty clear. Turn off. Turn. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off your eyes. What do you think? Hang on. Hang on. Be quiet. Just be quiet. Turn off or see right, no one. Right, hey, right, hey, let's just go up there. We'll find out what the hell it is or who it is, and we'll take care of it. It's all right. Let's go. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to go down. And go? Come Lloyd, on. come on. This, we are trespassing, Lloyd. Let's go. This no, is no, over. No, this no, is no. over. This way? Come on. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'll be the talk. Don't worry about it. I'll let you do it. What's he doing? He's checking out the car. Fuck. Just, alright, just relax. He doesn't, as far as he knows, we haven't done anything. Okay, hi. Just relax. We're just working on a little documentary out here about the you know, wildlife, desert wildlife. I'm sorry, we weren't really sure where we were, so we just we came down through here and we just parked. We were trying to check things out. Now, I need to see some IDs right now from all three of you. I want y'all to wait right here. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We should say Lloyd's from USC. He's a professor. Don't even go. He doesn't even know anything. It's fine. Can I be a professor? I'm feeling good about this. I think he's going to let us go. Way to let us run back and get the prototype. It won't take us ten. I know. Not right now. Let's just go back to the hotel. Let's just get back. This is private property. You're not supposed to be here. Yes, sir. If I catch you here again, you're going to go to jail. No problem. Thank you very much. We're out of here. Thank you. All right, y'all take care. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. It was there, right? Huh? Well, if we just got the prototype, man, and, and my watch, if, I, I know we had to leave it. We couldn't figure it out. I think we wait till morning, we go back, we grab it, and we get the hell out of Dodge. We've got it on tape. We've got it right here on tape. We've got proof. We have... It's all the all the proof it's we not need. Substantial. If no. we bring something back, we'll be fine. We're gonna run in, grab it, be gone. Grab it. All right. There's two things. We want to get the watch, and we want to get the pro. You grab okay. everything you can get your hands on. Okay. Okay. It's a few minutes before six. We're back to the site, the fallout shelter. Oh, Mike. If Lloyd's right about the fallout shelter and all his stuff being being there, do you think he's right about? Everything else? What, aliens? <laughs> well, I don't Come know, on, maybe. Of course not. I don't know. How far do you think it, it is? This is a different direction. Lloyd, do you think this is the right way? That's that trooper from last night. It's the patrol. Oh, that's him. That's him. I think they're at our the hole we dug. Okay. What are we gonna fuck that? Get that. Listen, we need to get the hell out of here. Let's just get back to the car. Let's get out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. Listen. I'm coming. Come on. Where are all those guys? 
They're all FBI agents. They're all FBI agents and they're all aliens on here. What? Aliens? They were scanned them. FBI and them. Find I scan them. They are all scan aliens. Scan shit. They are all aliens. Now, what we've got to do, I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to ask you not to use your cell phone again. Because these dudes are going to try to trace us. Let's go up to 285 right, right, and we'll find the first town. No, no, we're, 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 no, we're not going north. No. What? No, we're not. Why? Going, no. Why not? Because it, it, you know that they're going to be checking out the, the state lines up around New Mexico. Our best hope is to go south. What about going to the cops? Why don't we shit. just go right to the cops? What if we just no, okay, no, okay. no, no. You don't go to the cops. You don't go to the cops. They're going to. Yeah. They'll just turn us right over to them. You don't go to the cops. The trooper, you saw what happened with the trooper. Well, who are we going to go to? The There's a little state road, state road 20. And we get down that a ways and we'll start finding a back road. We're going to go south to Mexico. Try to run parallel. Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Try to run parallel to Interstate 10 on back road. And we, and we're we going get, to fucking Mexico. I'm going to LA. No, we're, right. Going, right, we're, going to go to, we're going to go to El Paso. Why El Paso? Because we can get fucking lost in El Paso. Maybe for a while until things get settled down. Please, I want to emphasize, do not use that cell phone. And I all, right, all right, fine. I don't think you realize what kind of trouble we're in. My God, we're in trouble. Fuck this. Mike, I don't think that's a good idea. Just hang on. Lise? Yeah, it's me. Listen to me. Get Josh. Get your shit together. Go to your mother's. I will call you in a couple of hours. Just do it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. All right, love you. Bye. What? I told you to stay off that goddamn Fuck phone! Lloyd! I will talk to my wife. I will get that taken care of no matter you what. You own that phone, you they had I don't fucking care! They, I used they, the phone they, earlier! It doesn't matter! If they had a, if they got any kind of a scanner, they they know it. If they do, they already have it! Oh, I don't man. fucking care. Okay, slow down, slow down. Back up so I can get that again. I want to get the inside again. I want to get the inside of the car. Yeah, down here. Yeah, the car. Got it. Yeah, that's blood, man. It's the same car, same right, okay. Lloyd. Let's go. Let's go. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's loaded, it's got everything. Yeah. It's great. Not the greatest drive. Yeah, but it runs. Uh, it runs. A little over 100. Yeah. Runs all right? Yeah, but it's all good. All right. Okay. All right. This is fun. This is great. So, according to the receiver here, the woman that just sold us this car, She's red. It's a couple hours since we traded out the car. These back roads aren't helping us much on time. Lloyd, well, where do you think we are? Uh, looks like we're pretty close to Van Horn, which is a little town. And we're running uh, parallel to Interstate 10 toward El Paso. Alright. We're going to have to dodge around, you know, it might be. Another three or four hours. We so can't get a clear shot through there. Will you look at the fucking map and well, tell us where we can get there? Guys, right keep it together. Keep up. it together, guys. Yeah, he's he's right above us. He looks like he's just circling the car. He's above us. Don't let him see you with that like. camera. All right, look, hey, it's a different car. Don't panic. Maybe you should just put the camera away. Is he still asleep? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's still asleep. <sighs> Mike, I thought you were going to use the phone. I got to make sure she's okay. Ringing. Fuck. She should have been there by now. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I'm 
starting to get freaked out. Yeah, me too. Let's just, what are we we'll gonna do, there. Mike? We'll, just, we'll get we'll get to El Paso. <sighs> we're just gonna figure out what we do from there. All right. I mean, it's we'll be okay. We just need to get there. We'll get we'll go someplace that's pretty populated. I'm not sure we'll get we'll blend in with some people, but we'll get somewhere that we can sit down and figure out what. Mike, to do I'm next. really fucking scared. It'll this be all right. We're gonna be fine. Come on, I'm serious. All right. It'll be alright. What's going on? I can't really anything? tell. Um, there's a there's this. Is that a cop? Yeah, I see the flashing light. I don't know. It's a federal agent. He's God damn it. I just seen him. Okay, he's stopping the cars. I see he's got a flashlight. He's um. It, yeah, he's standing in front of the other car. Okay, he's going over. He's uh. It's a federal agent. He's talking. Right, guys, he's talking to the on. other car. He's talking come to the car on, in right. front of us. Jeez. Fuck. All right, all right, all right, wait a minute. Are, are there any other roads? Can we look for? No, goddamn! I got the map right here. There ain't no other roads. This Man. is it. Come on, all turn right. your right. Fuck! Hang on. If they've got this road shut down, then that means they've got all the other roads in El Paso shut down too. Jesus, come on. Let's just turn around, okay? I get Let's it. just turn right. around. We need to figure out another all fucking right. plan. Is that a cop? Yeah, I saw one back there. Right there. Did he look at us? I don't know. It's about seven it's o'clock. About, seven or so. about two miles south of uh what's that place? Was that town? Fans. Fans. Who's gonna check in? I'll do it. I'll go up there. I'll do it. She would be home. All right, hey, let me let me call my dad. This is Central Time. They're Pacific, so it's like what five? Nobody. He'd be there. All right, this is fucked up. I don't know. Listen, listen, listen. Come on, get here. Are you getting those guns? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Let's get back inside. Yeah. What's that? I don't know. I just keep thinking I'm hearing something out there. I see some guy walking, but. We've got to the aliens, Lloyd. We've obviously pissed off the government or somebody. Alright? I don't know, this is just a thought, but we have cops and FBI or whoever the hell. All over our tail, there's helicopters circling. We need somebody on our side, right? Yes. Somebody, we need help from someone. What if we called somebody in El Paso, like like um, uh, a, a local television no, reporter, no, 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 right? No, no, no. no, no, no. That's, a good idea. That's a good idea. This whole um, blockades and and missing towns and all that. This is like a big deal here. We'll, we'll call somebody in El Paso. We'll show them our 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 footage. If we get on the national news in 24 hours, then we're safe. We can't just we can't just disappear. Then all of a sudden, people would ask questions. Let's let's, let's call. call. Let's, let's, let's call some TV stations in, in El Paso. Let's do it. Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm here. All the roadblocks that have been happening today. Yes. I don't want to have to turn anything over to authorities. I've got tapes. We've got everything. I just want to be here to talk to somebody in the media. Horizon City and and Al's truck stop. Okay. Now, can we can we stay off of the main roads between 10 and 10:30? Thank you, Mr. Martinez. All right. Great, great. He's gonna meet us. Yep. Al's truck stop, Horizon City. I tell you, man, this is gonna Pretty save soon. our ass here. I hope so. All right, here we go. We got a hold of the guy. His name's Martinez. We're gonna meet him and his crew up here at Horizon City. Horizon City. Yeah, it's right, it's right, right on state this. 10. It's right here. It's a stop. Yeah, but we can't go interstate 10. No, we're not going. He gave us directions. We'll be fine. He gave us some back road. Yeah, we'll we'll some just back road. Yep. So let's go eat, all right? I'm hungry, but uh, I, I don't think we can't go into a restaurant. We'll just be careful. We'll walk in the shadows. We'll be fine. All right? All right. Walk in the shadows. That's a good idea. Come on. Lloyd, it's okay. Let's go. Green's good. Green's good. Well, Lloyd, if 
if nothing else happens to us between now and and getting to Martinez, then maybe we'll be all right. Well, you know, we yeah. should be fine. Yeah. We just get everything out in the open. Well, I feel we'll watch better, buddy. Yeah. You know, when you guys brought it up, I was thinking, man, you know, that just might have been the best thing we could do because we just might get the right guy. I'll agree. hand it to you, Lloyd. There's definitely something going on. I, yeah. yeah. But uh, I think if we get that out in the open and tell them, we'll be fine. I feel bad about it. I do. The fact that I, uh, the fact that I drug you into this, I'm sorry. I apologize. Because it's, uh, I, I didn't realize the danger of it. I'm zoomed in. What? What did you see? Zoom in on the what? What did you see? Zoom in. I'm zoomed. somebody doing in our room? You went to Martini. What? Or what? Yeah, obviously the phone call. Yeah. I can't believe this. We might have to get down into Mexico. You might, you might be right, Lloyd. We might have yeah. to. Get there. So let's let's turn off. Let's just go south. No matter what we're doing. All right. Mike, this isn't south. No. This is north. This is north. Let's just turn around and go south. that car stopping back there. What? You see that? Your car stopped there. Says, Are they moving? Are they moving? He's just this sitting there. Fuck, now we're stuck in the sand. Come on, Mike. Before just put it in the low gear. Me. Put it in the low gear yeah. and let's get the fuck out yeah. of here. Hang on, hang on. There's cars coming. Bitch, come on, let's just push. Fuck. God damn it. God damn it. Get All right, come on. Go, 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 go. There he is, there he is, there he is. Push, he's turning around. He's turning around. He's still behind us. He's still behind us. Mike, can just fucking blow this. Hang on, we got a car. Is he coming up? He's right on our ass. Right, right on you, man. Oh, I don't see him. What the fuck? Damn, he's right. right. Mike. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Watch. Got I got the rope. Watch. Watch him. See what the hell's going on. He's right behind us. What do you want me to watch? Yeah, but what if we get stuck down in here and we can't turn around? Oh, yeah. I don't fucking know. Uh oh. Wait, he's 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 Whoa. something what happened. happened. What happened? He hit something, he's I think. Something. Mike, why don't you fucking slow down? Yeah. Why we can't even see down this road! Mike, Mike, yeah, just, no. Slow down, Mike! When I saw the car, when I saw the car lights like, coming, I just took off running. Where is he? Did he get out of the car? I don't know. Did you see him get out of the car? I don't see him. I don't see him anywhere. I don't see him. Wait, Lloyd, get down, get down, get down, get down. Look. I see you guys. 
There's two guys coming out of the car. They're, they're just looking they're just looking at our car. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, what are you fucking doing? Where's my wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh my God. I don't know. I estimate that this one's about. Four miles away, out there. I, I I don't know. Damn it! Oh, yeah, they're closing in on us. They're closing in on us. It's just bad. You think so? So what do we do now, Lloyd? Uh, well, I, 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 the only thing I'm thinking, Horizon City, Horizon City. Will. Uh, <laughs> What's the point of that? I mean, will. they're going to be waiting there well, for us no, if they're no, after no, us no, with no, helicopters. I figure it's seven miles. By the time we get there, it'll be. Dark. But it's the only city anywhere near here. They're going to know that we're going there. We're lucky. Maybe we can find somebody, a go between, somebody to drive us into Mexico, somebody to give the tapes to. And don't kick yourself in the butt about Mike. You did all you could do. You did all you could do. I, I, I know. I know what a good friend you were. To him. Yes. You couldn't. You couldn't have done anything different. And I. I I feel sad about it, David. He was a good guy. He was a good guy. Yeah. We've been out here, I, I guess probably about five, six hours. We've been lucky enough to stay out of sight. You all right, Lloyd? Yeah, we don't have any food or water. I was lucky to get the bag of tapes before we ran away from the site. I'm just so fucking thirsty. <gasps> Lloyd! Lloyd, stop! What? what? Get down. I don't know. Here, let me see. Let me, let me see. What I can see. What do you see? I don't see anything. What, 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 what do you think I should do? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Oh shit! Stop! Ah! God damn it! Shit! Shit! Oh, shit! 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 They killed him. They killed. They killed Lloyd. Fuck it. Fuck it. I gotta go. I gotta just keep going. I can just get there. Hide out. 
Maybe I can figure out what to do, where to go. God, I'm so, I'm so tired.
this dumpster for about, I don't know, two hours or so. I know I'm not gonna make it out of this city alive without someone's help. I didn't have anybody else to turn to, so I called Robert Patton. He works for this agency that deals with extraterrestrial investigations. You'll see him when you get these tapes. We interviewed him for the documentary. I don't know if he's one of them or not, but I gave him a place to pick me up and he assured me that he can get me out of this city. So in a couple hours, I'll meet him there and I'll get rid of the camera and the tapes like we discussed. I know Lloyd comes off a little crazy at times, but I think he was telling us the truth. <laughs> and I can't believe that these words are coming out of my own mouth. But this threat to the human race is a very real thing. Maybe people are better off not knowing. It's just too goddamn scary to think about.